Cooper. I got a nap. Well, of course I give you a nap. You give me a kiss? Oh, yeah. Hey, folks. Grunt here, Grunt's house. It's that time of the year. That's right. It is Christmas time. As always, I'm hanging here with Cooper, who just loves you folks. And some snacks. We give him another snack. We get a snack. Okay. But the reason we're doing a Christmas video is because it's Tack Pack's Christmas Pack. That's right. In this box is uh, all the little presents from Tack Pack. You, you spend. Eh. See you later, Coop. Just gonna go play with some elves or something, or just gonna mess with my camera. Hey, Cooper, go on. Thanks. All right, so in this box here, Tack Packs sent us a little uh, little presents. You spend uh, about 150 bucks, and they send you the Tack uh, Tack Pack special. Last year, if you look in my videos, you'll see they had an awesome pack. I mean, it was loaded with all kinds of uh, new gear and stuff like that. So I'm anxious to get into this one. Um, all right, so Tack Pack is a monthly subscription. Uh, you pay fifty dollars a month, and they'll send you uh, gear that they they think is cool and stuff. I have done my last video with them for monthly subscription box. I am not going to renew my subscription. The value is no longer there. Um, when you send me a, a little trinket D ring for saying it's forty dollars, I think it was crap. I'm no longer going to give you my money like that. I'll just put it aside and buy my own gun parts and stuff. So, with that being said. Let's dive into this box here. So, um, let's see a bunch of stuff. There. All right. So, that's a full sheet, but they did it in large font, so I'm guessing it's going to be less stuff. I don't know if you can actually see all that. So, all right. Well, let's let's see what we got here. This is a Goats Guns AR-15. It's a replica featuring movable, workable parts. Uh, we cannot put this thing down. It's a Christmas box without a toy, right? So this is a replica of an M16 or AR-15, the Charky. Um, I've got plenty of real things I'm not sure why I need a replica but for those of you that don't own one sure this is pretty cool for y'all I guess um, they're saying that this is running you forty dollars some people are into that it is what it is hey okay next up we're gonna go to Spikes Industries link curve Ford grip okay so Spikes Industries got these little foregrips. I have a couple of these on some of the ARs. I like them. Um, they're lightweight. I have it on M-Lock, or uh, correction, yes, M-Lock. And this looks like it too is M-Lock. Because it's your little Loctite and everything, put it on there for your AR. I don't know about $38, but that's what Spikes Industry sells it for. Spikes Industry is a well-known manufacturer of parts and pieces for your weapons, so it is what it is. They're pretty decent. Um, it's a little pricey for me. I'd usually find something very similar at a gun show for maybe $10, $15 cheaper. That's just me. Um, let's see. Happy Holidays from Mission First Tactical and Tac Pack. Take 20% off anything at Mission First Tactical using Tac Pack 2020. There's a little freebie for you kids. Go to... Uh, Mission First Tactical, the promo code is TACPAC2020, use the code, I probably won't. Um, what else do we have in here? I see a Maglite, I love little Maglites, Maglite M1 LED, who doesn't love a little Maglite? Um, let's see this thing open up, ooh sweet. Alright, so I have one very similar on my keychain, these are great around the house, it has a little lanyard and the battery for it. 
Um, they're saying 15 bucks for that. I can buy that because Maglite, they've been around for a long time and they have got really reliable flashlights. Um, it'd been cool to have like an Olight in there, but hey, I'm just saying. What else we got? I see something by Gerber. This is the Gerber Truss Multi-Tool. Oh, uh, what's, what's a man without a Gerber, right? All right, so this has got, looks like 17 different tools on it. Wire, color, wire cutters, strippers, uh, blades, serrated blade, a ruler, files, flathead, Phillips, all kinds of stuff. Um, I've had multi-tools for years. They come in handy. I keep them on my belt even at work now. Uh, just because you never know, especially when you're working with electricity uh, or little wires and stuff. So it's always nice to have those. All right, and they're saying that that is $45. So we're kind of up there in price already. All right, next up, what is this? <laughs> the ever famous morale patch from Tac Pack. They never fail to send a, a pretty decent morale patch. This from the ever famous Christmas movie, Die Hard. Now I have a machine gun. Ho, ho, ho. Awesome. I love that. That will go on display in my vehicle as such the rest of them. Maybe I'll put a picture in here and show you all that one. That, um, they're saying that's priceless, so they're not counting that against your cost. Uh, this looks like a Tac Pack hat. This is a Tac Pack toboggan for $17. Again, Tac Pack likes to put their logo on everything. Um, at least this one doesn't have a huge patch that was kind of annoying in one of the other ones. This seems like it'll stretch out a little bit. Not bad. Um, we'll try that out later. Got my Santa hat on. So, again, $17 for that. Let's see. Oh, oh not one of these. Okay, so... Got your six survival mag. These are the biggest pieces of crap. You're going to sit here and tell me that this is $60. For one, no person with actual man hands can get this open. Okay? You have to pinch both sides of this and slide this back. Um, and it's got a bunch of crap inside that will help you survive. $60 for this thing, that, no. I wouldn't spend $16 on this because it's it's crap. Um, you can't even open this thing. The chances of you having this on you without your kit or without your gear your when you're survival or camping or whatever you're doing, the chances of you having this on you without any of your other survival gear, highly unlikely. So that's why my kid always had uh, an... Uh, escape kit. Um, it's just little stuff in there um, to help you survive if need be. But it's a lot smaller than this and it was attached to the belt. So that's a, that's a crap. I'm not going to sit here and mess with that anymore. Uh, keep your eye open. That'll probably be in a giveaway because that's not something I plan on using. AR-15 field guide. Okay, so this is $10. This is the Real Avid Field Guide, essential literature for your range bag that features all the necessities of gun care. This is great for those that are new to owning an AR. Um, I've been toying with ARs probably 30 years now. Well, no, change that. A little over 25 years. When you're 18 years old in the military, they give you one and you, you go from there and you learn you know parts and pieces and what you need to lube, what you need to keep dry, what needs to have contact, what should not be cracked. <laughs> um, but these are great for your newbies, for new guys that don't really know much about ARs. So that's okay, that's not bad, I mean that's ten bucks. So I see Black Rifle Coffee Company, a uh, veteran company, love their, their coffee, they've got some really good stuff. This looks like it is, uh, okay, so Black Rifle Coffee Samples, with no doubt, Black Rifle Coffee is one of our favorite companies that they partner with. Uh, it's the absolute best instant coffee around for perfect Christmas mornings. All right, this is Black Powder. I believe Black, uh, black Powder is a pretty, it's a medium to a robust flavor. They're, they're really good. 
Uh, great veteran company. Check them out if you haven't already. Um, these are kind of handy. Many a times when I was in the military when you didn't have an opportunity to heat water or stuff like that, we had these little packets of instant coffee that came in our meal ready to eat. When you needed that wake up and go and you didn't have hot water, what we used to do is we'd open it up, pull your lip out, and just like a dip, you'd pour it in and get your morning caffeine. Yeah. Sounds pretty disgusting. It was. But... Um, it makes people a whole lot easier to deal with when you have caffeine in your system, regardless how it got there, right? All right, so moving on to the next thing. The last and final is a Condition 1 two-pistol range bag. All right, so they sent a pretty decent range bag. Um, they're always sending pretty decent bags. I can't really complain. This one is $45. It looks decent. They're calling it also an overnight special ops bag. Of course, everybody is special ops. Everybody you meet at the bar is special ops. Everybody has worked special operations, right? I love those guys. Ah. A little strap there. It's kind of like a satchel. Hey, Indiana Jones used to have a satchel, so not bad. Looks like a little divider here. You can fit guns and whatnot. Let's see. It's got a little internal case that you can put stuff in and put that in there. It's pretty neat. For your overnight, I guess that's maybe your shaving kit. I don't know. Like I said, it looks like a little satchel type thing. I have a range bag, and for those that visit the range as frequent as I do, it behooves you to get a good range bag, which this looks like it could do the job. Got some pouches here. I can see that holding some magazines, some boxes of ammo. Not bad. Forty-five dollars isn't a bad price for this. It's really, I mean, it's sturdy made. It's it's not cheap, cheaply made. I like they got the little Velcro here. You can put your little morale patch on there even if you want. Walk around all day with your ho ho ho, bitches. <laughs> there you go. So that's this year's Christmas tack pack. Tell you what, down below, go ahead and hit the uh, subscribe. Like I said, uh, we might be going to a, a few different things, but anyway, hit the subscribe, hit the like, tell me what you like, what you don't like. Um, since I don't have these anymore, I'm open to suggestion. We'll see what kind of other gear we'll be getting and other stuff we'll be doing on this channel. But uh, other than that, Merry Christmas to y'all. Grunts out.